testimony how I was a felon. <laughs> Not knowing I wasn't supposed to be in the class. An officer came to me and he said, we checked your records. We checked everybody out. We didn't see no felony on your record. I said, you didn't. Okay. So then I started applying for a job as a kindergarten teacher at the Board of Education. <laughs> I started teaching at the college. I started teaching at the school. I started, I mean, I started working everywhere. And everybody who checked my police report, no felonies. When I laid it on the altar, when, I, when, when, when God let that stuff pass, when grace worked in, in, on my behalf the first time, I didn't get scared. I didn't try and manipulate. I didn't try and take off running. I didn't try. I, I, the battle was no longer mine. It was the Lord's. You got to fight a good fight. Fight a good fight. Fighting a good fight is fighting a godly fight. If it happened with Jehoshaphat, if it happened with me, he'll do it for you. God is no respecter of person. You just have to believe, have faith, prosper from the prophecy of the prophets and the prophetess. Train your children to know how to fight just like you knew how to fight. Pray to God fast. Recognize that you are a seed from Abraham and you're coming with a promise. And when somebody asks you what you're doing, you just tell them, leave me alone. I'm pouring some oil. I want to watch it hit the hem. Why? Because from years and now, people are going to talk about it. From years and now, people are going to talk about my testimony. It's going to be written. They can't talk about Jesus and not talk about what he did for me. But you got to know how to fight a good fight. God bless you. Thank you, Lord. Oh, God, it is an honor to do this. Uh, yeah, because see, now I'm glad that I ran to embrace you because even in your deliverance tonight, you know, sometimes when you really understand how the scriptures work and then you start seeing somebody that the scriptures has already been applied to and actually come to life, it blesses you. You see, you was talking about one felony and actually I wasn't never supposed to come again because I got four of them. But I come here to Delaware, I, I mean, after truly knowing I had been born again and the first job assignment that I got after I, I depleted my own business, I had to go get fingerprinted. And you know you don't get no new prints. Nothing came back. See, I'm a witness, you know. Nothing came back. And you know, the, they used to sing, I, 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 look, I looked at my hands and they look new. Well, baby, I'm telling you, you can look at them when God changed them. When you touch oh God, when you touch the hand of God, He makes them new. Yeah. Pastor Shaq, we want to thank God for you being in our midst on tonight and walking in your own realness the way God made you. And I appreciate you really tonight. We were blessed by your being here. We thank God for you. And we can't pay you for the, for the teaching that you've done on tonight. But we can reward you with this gift, this offering that God has given unto us to give unto you in Jesus' name. You take it and receive it with the love that it has given. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. God. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, let us pray. Clergy. Come on down, Pastor. Let us pray. Come on, let's bless the Lord for the message and the messenger. I, too, on June the 11th, amen, I was supposed to go to court fighting uh, a charge that was against me. 
and uh, Jesus drop those charges. So I know who he is. But I thank God tonight for what you said. I thank God for the word tonight. Because God has established his people. And God has given gifts unto men. Prophecy has been released all in the church again tonight. Through the word of God. Because whatever battles, there's battles that some of you are coming up. That's coming up against you. He didn't already told you. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. That was a prophetic, the whole book, a, a chapter was prophetic. And we thank you for being sensitive to the spirit. Because what you're saying is what somebody needs tonight. Amen. Somebody clap your hand for the message and the messenger. Pastor C.T. Shocker for it, amen. We're going to pray. Everybody point your hands this way. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank and praise you tonight, God, have you used your male servant. We thank you, oh God, how God that he have brought forth a message that we don't need to fear because you haven't given us the spirit of fear. We thank you for power, love, and of a sound mind. Now, God, we ask you to restore the virtue unto him, oh God, in the name of Jesus. God, we ask you right now to give him increase for every sacrifice. God, we ask you right now, even after this is all over, if you delay your coming and we live to see it, when he go home, let a miracle.